Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button and also if you guys could hit the like, it really does go a long way for channel growth. Anyway, let's talk about Deontay Wilder. If Deontay Wilder loses his third fight against Tyson Fury, should he retire? What got me thinking about this topic was the recent comments by WBC president Maurizio Suleiman, where he essentially said if Deontay Wilder loses for a third time against Tyson Fury, then his career is over. And yeah, I just really wanted to share my two cents on this topic. I guess the first question really is, if Deontay Wilder loses to Tyson Fury in that third fight, will he retire? Now, I think there's a possibility that he will retire, just really based on what he's been saying. You know, he's kind of insinuated that if he loses, that could be his last fight. At the end of the day, he is 35 years old. He's made tens of millions of dollars. So he would be in a position to retire, to be honest. And if he did that, I certainly wouldn't be surprised. However, do I think he should retire if he loses to Tyson Fury again? I've got to be honest, I don't think he should. In all honesty, I don't think a couple of official defeats to Tyson Fury should actually make him retire. At the end of the day, Tyson Fury is just one fighter in the division. There are still plenty of fighters out there in which Deontay Wilder could fight to build his resume and build a legacy, and there's still a lot of money on the table. Let's say, for example, Deontay does lose to Tyson Fury in that third fight. I do think there's a route back to where he's a viable opponent in the division. If he does lose a third fight to Tyson Fury, I'm sure Deontay Wilder would take like a tune-up fight, a knockover job, to kind of rebuild his confidence. But after that, I still think there's fights out there for Deontay Wilder. If you look at the PBC side of things, you've got Andy Ruiz. If I was the PBC, I would be building Andy Ruiz alongside Deontay Wilder in case Deontay Wilder loses that third fight to Tyson Fury. I would have Andy Ruiz be nice and active, get him some good opponents, get him some wins, and get his name back out there, restore some faith from the boxing fans in Andy Ruiz Jr. And after Wilder, presuming he loses the third fight to Tyson Fury, I would have Wilder take a tune-up and then match Deontay Wilder and Andy Ruiz Jr. Ultimately, it would be a battle of two former heavyweight champions, and at that time, I would imagine both guys would still be top 10 rated, so that in itself is a good fight. And hypothetically, if that fight were made, you know, the winner of that fight would actually put themselves back in a good position within the heavyweight division. I mean, from Deontay Wilder's perspective, Andy Ruiz would be a very good fight because if Wilder beat Ruiz, that would obviously put him back in a good position, but beating Ruiz would signify the best win in Deontay Wilder's career. I think Andy Ruiz would be the best name on Deontay Wilder's resume. And listen, not only do we need to see Deontay Wilder get rebuilt should he lose a third fight to Tyson Fury, but this guy needs to build a resume because right now, if he retired, yeah, he's going to retire a very rich man, but he's really not going to be leaving behind much of a legacy. So for me personally, I would suggest that Deontay Wilder doesn't retire if he loses a third fight to Tyson Fury, because ultimately, I still think there's fights out there for him, and fights out there that he could potentially win. And there's still a lot of money on the table, let's be honest about it. I think a Wilder-Ruiz fight would do pretty good business in the States. It's not a massive fight, it's not a mega fight, but I'm sure that fight would do some decent numbers, and both guys would get paid. And another thing, you know, if Deontay Wilder loses this third fight to Tyson Fury, and after that he puts together a couple of wins, sticks around for a couple of years, we've got no idea how the top of the heavyweight division is going to look. Who knows, maybe maybe Tyson Fury loses to Anthony Joshua, and at that point, if Deontay can get a couple of wins, people would be interested in seeing Wilder versus Joshua again. So, if, if Wilder does lose to Fury a third time, I don't think he should retire. I actually believe the guy should stick around, to be honest, you know, maybe have one tune-up fight to come back to, and then 
jump in there with Andy Ruiz, for example. That's what I think Deontay Wilder should do. Maybe even try and get a Dillian White fight. Who knows? Deontay Wilder versus Jarrell Miller. That would be a great fight. You know, trash talking, a great build up. Stylistically, a really fun fight. There are still fights out there for Deontay Wilder should he lose to Tyson Fury in a third fight. In fact, maybe Wilder shouldn't even have a tune-up fight should he lose to Tyson Fury again. Maybe Wilder should jump in there with someone like Charles Martin. Charles Martin, highly rated in the IBF, but very beatable. Robert Hellanius, another guy, highly rated in the WBA, but very beatable. There are comeback routes for Deontay Wilder should he lose again, and I think the guy should stick around. Because listen, a lot of us, including myself, may criticise Deontay Wilder for the way his career's been handled and things like that, his fan base, etc. But at the end of the day, as a fighter, I still believe the guy has something to offer and I'm still interested in seeing him in there with some other heavyweights. I really am. And that's just how I feel about this, uh, this topic. I don't think Deontay Wilder should retire if he loses again. What I think is irrelevant though, whether he will retire or won't retire, is the real question. For some reason, I've got a sneaky feeling that he will retire if he loses again. But maybe I'm wrong, who knows? We shall see. But listen, if he did retire, I think the guy will be leaving a lot of money on the table. And, you know, potentially, getting back to the top on the verge of a title shot isn't as complicated as a lot of people are making out. You know, again, like I said... Guys like Hellenius, Charles Martin are highly rated in sanctioning bodies. You know, these are, these are winnable fights for Deontay Wilder, as far as I'm concerned. But there we go, that is just my opinion on the matter. I don't think the guy should retire. Whether he will or not, we shall see. And who knows, maybe Deontay Wilder pulls off a third Tyson Fury fight and he somehow knocks him out and this conversation is completely irrelevant. You never know, stranger things have happened in boxing. I don't see that happening, but like I said, you never know. Anyway, share your thoughts on this topic. If Wilder were to lose a third time to Tyson Fury, do you think he should retire? I've seen a lot of people say they want him to retire, they want to see the back of him, and listen, I partly understand that, you know, due to various reasons, his fan base, the way he's kind of cherry-picked throughout his career. I get that, but me personally... I still believe Deontay Wilder, for all of his flaws, for all of the bad things that go against him, I do believe the guy is a fun fighter and he can make for some really good fights regardless of the result in that third Tyson Fury fight. Anyway, share your thoughts below, tell me what you guys think, peace.